The daily microformative assessment begins with a focus standard. The next phase is the I do phase or take one phase where teacher provides strong first instruction and students take copious notes. The next phase is the we do or take two phase where students continue the learning process with practice questions accompanied by videos, working with classmates, and or with assistance from the teacher. The third phase is the you do phase or the take three phase. This phase, students demonstrates mastery by completing independent work. The final phase is the redo phase or the tier two phase where blended learning groups are efficiently and effectively utilized to help students that just need that extra support in order to achieve mastery. This is the daily microformative assessment model, so let's begin the I do phase. With both dynamic questions and shuffle order off, once the assignment is created, the teacher will have the exact same assignment as the student. By clicking preview, the teacher's view is on the left, and by clicking start on the student's view on the right, notice that the question on the left is identical to the question on the right. With the identical questions for both teacher and student, the teacher now can model how to solve the problem on the left while the student is able to take notes to solve the problem on the right. This pattern of modeling and students taking notes is repeated for the next two problems, complete with an answer submission. Here's the I do data. Notice the highs and low scores, average class score. This is really a measure of how well students were taking notes and paying attention to the teacher's modeling. And so notice at the bottom, we have the results that are there. One student in particular is someone we wanna take a look at. So let's look at Mr. Tom Cruise. Upon viewing Tom Cruise, notice that he appears to have been off task. Doodles of airplanes doing somersaults and the nose dives. Probably time to have a conversation with Mr. Tom Cruise. Instruction now moves into the we do or take two phase of student learning complete with video support. For we do, we're going to take advantage of retake. Students will now retake the assignment, but in a we do format. Dynamic questions are both off and shuffle order remains off, but this time instructional videos are turned on and the assignment is created. On the right is the student view. And so the student now can start their we do assignment, this time complete with video support. Student can select the video, play the video, so that the student can solve this problem with support. And support this time is with video. Another support option is the with support with another student. On the left is Meg Ryan. She's going to help Julia Roberts on the right. Notice Meg is going to toggle forward to problem number two. Problem two for Meg is identical to problem number two on the right with Julia. This is very familiar to us in the I do portion of when the teacher was instructing. But this time with the we do, we have students working with each other to help solve these problems. And of course, the teacher is always available for the we do or with support as well. The we do data is the take two data, and here are the results. Notice that the average score is 60%, which dropped 20%. Let's see what's happened with our students during the with time of I do, we do, you do. Sandra Bullock's score is now 0%. Let's look at Sandra Bullock's work, see what's happened there. Appears that she may have been working with Tom Cruise. There's an influence of an airplane there and a nose dive there. Time to have a conversation with Sandra Bullock. The you do phase or take three phase is really about student mastery, where students will complete questions independently, this time without video support. For the you do portion of the activity, select retake, labels, select you do. Dynamic questions and shuffle order will both be on to ensure good data for mastery and also instructional videos will be off. Now let's create the assignment. The student starts the you do experience and confidently solves each problem on their own to demonstrate the mastery of the material. Now let's review the you do results of I do, we do, you do. Here's the summary screen. Here's the I do data, a dip with we do, but then the trend line back up for you do. 
reviewing specific students. Let's take a look at one more time with Sandra Bullock as we view her scores. Notice question one and question two are correct. Question three, the airplane is back, possibly needs an intervention. The redo or tier two intervention is designed with blending learning groups in mind, all based on the you do data. After analyzing the you do data, it's now time to focus on redo. What's redo? Well, here's the you do data. When we look at the students, performance, it's now time that we need to do tier two intervention with students that need additional support. Blended learning groups allow us to do this seamlessly and efficiently. Notice that we have the two students that need additional help for blended learning. Students will receive the exact same assignment with instructional videos on. We'll give them five questions. During this time, we're able to instruct students on the various questions that they've struggled with and then assign the assignment. Notice that you can also change the title here, Blended Learning Group for Success. Click Assign and now these students have an additional assignment for Tier 2 intervention. The cycle then continues with strong first instruction with Tier 1 by selecting a new standard or STEM.